Hey everyone, Akash this side and I welcome you all to this channel Coding Journey with Akash. So friends, if you are new on this channel, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And if you have already subscribed, then thank you very much for your support. So friends, in this video, we will learn how to create NPM package and how to deploy it on NPM. So friends, there are like several steps that we will take into consideration before moving ahead. For example, first of all, we have to think of a package that we want to create. So for the sake of this particular video, uh, I will be creating one email validator. It will be a simple function that will take email as a string and it will return true or false uh, on the basis of that particular email. If it is valid, then it will return true else it will return false. Secondly, we have to create the NPM account. So let's quickly do it. So friends, I already have account on NPM, so I'm not going to create it. But what you can do, you can simply click on sign up and fill your details and you can simply create your account. For me, I already have the account, so I'm simply going to sign in. So friends, I have successfully signed in into my account. Okay. Now the next step is to create our folder first. So first what we can do is we can simply have the folder. Uh, like let's suppose we want to name it as package, something like this. And inside this package folder, what we can do is simply run this command that is npm init. Cool. So over here it's asking the name of the package. So I will simply name it like validate email something like this version we can say yes keep this particular version description like uh, email validator something like this we can name it entry point will be index.js and uh, test command let's uh, just press enter uh, git repository press enter actually right now i have not created the git repository but if you have created you can simply add that git repository over here Keywords, we can say like email valley data. I think it's okay. So something like this author, I will give my name over here. ISC license. Yes. So it has created a package.json for us. Yes, this is okay. Now what we can do is we can simply go into this VS code. Now, as you can see, we have got the package.json over here. Now let's have a look at the steps that we have to follow. We have thought of a package that we want to create. That is the email validator. Secondly, we have created NPM account. Now we have uh, third, we have to run NPM init that we have also done. Now we have to create index.js, which serves as main entry point. Now let's quickly do that as well. So over here, what we are going to do is simply create index.js, something like this. Okay. And inside this, uh, we can simply add our code, the function that we want to write. So I'm going to write this function, validate email, and it is going to take email. Simple, I'm going to have one rejects. So this is the rejects that we are going to use. And finally, we can return true or false uh, on the basis of this particular statement, like test our email against this particular rejects something like this finally we are going to export it module dot export validate email we can also add a small comment if you want uh, like uh, we are we are telling about our function that it expects a param uh, that is string type and the name is email uh, basically the email address that we want to validate and it returns the boolean that is true or false on the basis of our email if it is valid true otherwise false so this is the small piece of code that we can have for um, our index.js. Now, apart from this, uh, if we want to test this particular thing, so what we can do is we can create a test.js file as well, something like this. And I'm going to quickly add the test over here. Cool. So I've copied the test. Uh, what we have done is we have uh, used this particular assert library from the node. And uh, we have also like required our index.js over here that is the validate email from our index.js and using this particular assertion what we have done is uh, we have simply uh, just hover over, hover over this function or this assertion function it says that it needs to we need to pass three things to it one is the actual second is expected and third one is the message so what is the actual thing that we want to test okay and what is the expected result that we should get from this particular actual and third option is the description that you can pass so we have simply passed our function and a valid email over here 
and the expected result is true and valid email should return true. This is the message. Similarly, over here, we have passed the wrong email to this particular function and expectation is false and invalid email should return false, something like this. Now, now what we can do is go to this particular test command and run node test test.js, something like this. Now, what we can do is we can simply check if this is working or not. Simply run npm test. Okay, so so friends, we have got one error over here. It's saying that validate email is not a function. So let's quickly try to find out. We are going to this file. So it is saying validate email is not a function. It means that, okay. So we have not exported it correctly. It should be module.export. So that's why we uh, got this error. Simply try to run npm test once again. Cool. All test cases are passed. So yes, we have also tested our particular code. Now what we need to do is we can simply do npm publish. But before doing npm publish, we need to do npm login. Okay, so it is saying that press enter to open in the browser. So as we can see, it's saying that uh, two-factor authentication and it is saying that we have sent an email uh, on this particular email ID and we need to enter the OTP. So what we can do is quickly go ahead and enter the OTP. Cool, so we are successfully logged in. Over here also, we have got this message that logged in on this particular registry.npmjs.org. Now, another step is to simply run npm publish something like this okay it is saying that uh, let's see what it is saying yes i am logged in as a correct user let's have a look let's try to see if there are already validate email like packages like validate email Okay, so friends, uh, there are already packages like validate email. So uh, we need to like, you know, change the name. So let's say, uh, let's, uh, <laughs> let's try to find out some another name like custom email validator, something like this. Custom email. Let's see if this, it takes this. Okay, so it's string does not match okay so i think we need to have all small caps something like this so now let's see if this works or not cool so as we can see uh, we have got this message that is publishing to this particular website uh, basically npm js and this is our particular package and this is the version that is published okay cool now Let's try to search the package that we have just created. Custom email valley. Okay, I think it's I think it's not up, updated yet. So let's try to refresh once more. Cool. So friends, as you can see. Uh, we have got our package that is custom email validator. Oh, oh. and uh, this is the particular version. Okay. It is saying that uh, this does not have a readme, add a readme. So we can quickly add the readme as well. So what we can do is uh, simply add readme.md file. And over here, you can say that this package validates email, something like this. And let's hit npm publish okay we have got one more error it's saying that you cannot publish over the previously published version okay cool so it's saying that uh, i'm going to simply increase this patch version actually the version was same that's why it, we got the error now let's uh, publish it once more cool so our package is published. Let's try to refresh it. We have got the description that is this package validates email. Cool. 
so friends now what we can do is let's try to take a pull from the npm okay and let's see if this is working or not so i'm going to copy it so friends we are done with our like uh, creating our package and publishing it so the next step that we are going to do right now is not to publish it onto npm it's just for the sake of testing purpose so i'm creating a simple file that is server.js and what we can do is we can simply uh, install our custom email validator that we have created and uh, let's let's wait for it to get installed now uh, now let's quickly see if we are getting valid email uh, well <laughs> now let's quickly see if we are getting validate email yes we have got it and uh, yes we have required it now what we can do is simply have one console.log cool and inside this we are going to do is testing package something like this and simply call validate email and inside this pass something like test at mail.com now let's run this so simply type node server.js and we got testing package true let's uh, test it with let's remove this dot let's see what we get now we got false cool so friends uh, let's have a look at the steps so friends let's go through this once more uh, first we need to get one idea okay without idea there is nothing possible so we have to think of a package that we can create now we have to we need to have an uh, npm account then we simply need to uh, create some folder and inside that we need to run npm init command then we need to create one index.js file that serves as main entry point inside this we can have our function basically the functionality that we want to write and uh, then we can also test our code and finally we can push our code to npm we can publish it the one thing that we have not done over here is that is we have not added the link of our github basically github repository in our uh, package.json so that is something we can also do but things apart we have successfully published our code to npm and if you have learned something new then don't forget to like and subscribe thank you for watching